Hello friends, I just want to show you briefly how you can assign an IXL assignment uh, from IXL directly into Google Classroom. So I'm just going to scroll down, maybe grab an 8th grade skill. I'm going to see all the math skills for grade 8. I'm just going to randomly pick Venn diagrams to solve problems. Not one we're going to do, but that's okay and on um, any skill if you scroll down a little bit sometimes or sometimes very visible there's this little section over here share and the bottom or green icon is for Google Classroom so I'm going to click that and this pop-up menu will come up and it will ask me if I want to share it to classroom which class I want to share it to I'm going to share it to my first year algebra class and I want to make this an assignment so I'm going to create an assignment and I'm going to select go. Uh, title of the assignment. Uh, you know, I could choose the date. I could choose a skill. You know, whatever. I could use like IXL. In case a student sees this, because when you post something, they get emails. Uh, there's actually the link that they will get to the assignment. Uh, I can assign this to individual students or the entire class if I want. I'm going to make it the entire class. If I want to post the number of points, I just pretty much ignore this. I don't put, uh, give points to a Google Classroom. That's not where I put the grades. Uh, the day it's due, let's say it's going to be due March 31st. I can specify a time if I want to, so it needs to be due by the end of the day on March 31st and topic homework classwork uh, I can even create a topic which I'm actually going to do right now and call it remote learning so now I can either click right away on assignment or I can even schedule ahead so if you want to get ahead and schedule some things in advance you can schedule when it will show up on the students Google classroom you'll see it it'll be a bit faded uh, but otherwise now the students won't see it until it's scheduled. So I'm not going to schedule that. I'm just going to sign it right now to show you how it looks on that end. So it's been assigned. I've posted my class. So now I'm going to just click on view so I can actually see the Google Classroom page. So I was signed this my first year algebra class. So it comes to my first year algebra page. And go to classwork. And notice it's actually created a new section for me. And here's the assignment. So when a student clicks on this, they see the instruction that I put in. And there's the link. If they click on this, it brings them right to that Venn diagram section, which I'll show you. And they can work on it there. It does not record scores for me in Google Classroom, so I'd have to go back to IXL uh, to check the scores, but just post the assignment. Uh, the other neat thing it does, it also posts the Google Calendar. So if we're telling students to go to Google Calendar to check their assignments, I'll show you what it looks like on that end. Okay, now I signed it today. It's March 24th. I signed it today. It's not there. It's actually on the day that it's due. So I put that it was going to be due, say, I think, uh, I forgot what day I said it was going to be due. Due March 31st at 11.59. Okay, so if I go to March 31st, all the way to 11.59, there it is. So you may want to forget about uh, the time and make sure that it's not assigned a time uh, because otherwise, you know, it's going to be all the way at the bottom. If you don't forget a time, it'll just be at the top in the calendar. Probably a good thing to do. Uh, good thing I noticed that. And notice if I click on the little link, this comes up and there's a link right there for students to go to that. Uh, but I think it's a good practice we've just learned that when we're maybe assigning something through Google Classroom. For the due date, get rid of the time. And so now let's see if that's any different if I go to the calendar. March 31st. And yeah, notice it's there at the top of the page. 
Uh, so I think I just learned something. Uh, hope you've learned something too. Again, there are a lot of great videos on the uh, IXL page. Uh, and always feel free to reach out if you've got any questions.